let's identify some um, needle and thread grass. Right here we have some clumps of needle and thread and it's this thin leafed um, grass. If you would um, look at the seed head, the seed head's starting to come out here and it has these long threads on it. And those, and on the end of those, if we were to pull those out, they would have a little pokey seed on it and that would be the needle. But, and then also if we pull it up, we look at the legule. It's a long fibrous legule right there where the leaf color meets the, meets the stem. Um, and that's another way to tell that it's needle and thread. So some ranchers say needle and thread is bad because it gets in the cow's mouth. What's your thought on needle and thread? Um, needle and thread actually um, is a very good grass it's when it's starting to grow like this. Once the seed heads dry, they do can get stuck in the um, cow's mouth, but most of the time, um, the cows will avoid it during that time. And once those seed heads have shattered, meaning they have dispersed and they fall into the ground, that grass becomes grazable again. And so it's, it's a very good grass. It's a very productive grass. Um, it's a very nutritious grass for animals um, when it's in the green stage and then after needle shed has happened. As a recap, needle and thread is a native bunch grass. It has thin leaves and seeds that resemble a needle and a thread. It has a long paper-like ligule at the leaf collar. It provides good forage in spring and after seed drop.